Lord our God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, who was and is and is to come, the Almighty. We thank you for this wonderful message, which is meant for us too, even though our lives often seem empty and sad. But behold, you make all things new for each one of us. Even though we have long tormented ourselves, the light of life will dawn at last and we will be able to rejoice. Continue to protect us and our community. Wake us to new life, for you have called us to believe and to endure to the end. Whatever sorrows and hardships may come, we will remain faithful, O oh, Lord our God. This is our promise to you. We will persevere and say joyfully, Jesus Christ is coming to make all things new. Amen. And now let's hear the word of God today. For today's gospel reading from St. Luke chapter 16 verses 1 to 8, he also said to his disciples, There was a rich man and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, Now that my master is taking the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig, I am not strong enough. Go begging. I should be too ashamed. Ah, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes. Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil. He said, the steward said, Here, take your bond, sit down, and quickly write fifty. To another he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat. He said, the steward said, Here, Take your bond and write 80. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness. For the children of this world are more astute in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. 